what is up crew so today is um not a very happy go lucky time so we haven't or i i really have been stressing like a lot um about it and it's been a couple days um so today is saturday and we have known this news since i believe two tuesday tuesday um we've known this news um so and honestly we don't we really don't know what the future has in store honestly but we're really really praying and hoping for a miracle at this point so on Tuesday, um, our landlord came to us and he told us that, uh, well at first he just wanted to do, like, do um, a walkthrough, which in our heads were just like, okay, like it was fine, but it's also like, there's a, there, there's a reason, like there's not, you know. Um, and also, since when we got into that car accident with the um, tractor trailer back in January, um, he, like he was so so generous when Dustin missed work for probably around five or six months he stopped working because like he couldn't work at that time and um, he was so understanding and we are so appreciative that he was so understanding because a lot of landlords would just be like just get the get the heck out like you haven't been paying like you need to get out and he never did that so we've been like trying to catch up what we missed um, for a while now and so he wanted to just discuss that and he was going to discuss like doing a walkthrough of the house and so we're just like okay and so he came over and we mainly discussed that and that's when he got into that he's selling the house so not directly at this moment but he said that he needed us to basically be looking and trying to find a place to live um, because he's dying like he he basically told us that um if he makes it to january we can stay until the end of january but if he doesn't make it then his estate is gonna come like come through and basically kick us out if he doesn't make it which is really really sad we like all started crying um he even started crying and when we so when we met him he was he's really really old which is what I've said before in um, a previous videos like he's super old um, and at first uh, we thought he had like Alzheimer's or some type of dementia because he would forget like a lot of things and he would always forget our names and would like call us different names and just it was just like uh. um, but then he is and then we always knew that he had like a lung problem because they have a place in Florida that they go to around these time of months because it gets too cold for his lungs to handle and so they go to Florida. And so we always knew that those were problems with him and then uh, he told us on Tuesday that he was starting to lose his sight and it was just not good. And the um, he also told us that he's actually lived a lot longer than the doctors ever told him he would so every day is a miracle and it was just like so sad and I just got so upset um, not only because I was already upset before he said it because finding a place is so hard to do especially around these time of months because this is exactly the same time frame except we moved into the shelter in October of 2021 and we finally found a place to live December which was this place and we wouldn't even found this place that doesn't have gone driving around looking for rental places because we were on that verge that we needed to get out soon and so he looked at me he found this place and thankfully he found this place and um and it worked out so it's just like but it's really impossible to find places around this time of year because no one likes to rent around this time of year and it's just like it really sucks and it's just really really sad and so now we're literally praying and hoping for a miracle that you know 
if we get the settlement like it might be a bigger one that we can buy the house and we can eventually in the future start running it out and be as generous as you know he was to us and do that for other people but that's what I'm really really praying and hoping for because they he, they just deserve so much and I, it breaks my heart that you know that's happening to him you know and his wife isn't doing good and it's just really really sad it's a sad situation and we're the only property that he has in his name right now because he's already turned all the other properties away but because we were catching up on bills he was keeping it in his name so we could do that and he's just so so generous and just so great you know and it's just really it's a really sad situation and in my head i'm just like i'm conflicted because i feel so bad but i'm like i'm so like i don't know what to do because i don't want to be homeless again you know and it's just it's and there's there's a lot going through my head and it's just really upsetting to me and um you know like i said then like if y'all believe in god and pray or something please please pray for us like please pray for us like we really really need a miracle right now um whether whether that's you know being able to find a nice house or or a decent house or apartment for us that we can do um or getting enough from the settlement to be able to buy this house and then soon you know buy another another house and be able to rent this property out you know what i mean so please Please pray for us if that if that's anything that you do or if you don't pray or don't believe in God just please send good vibes or thoughts our way like we, we really need it like we we really need it you guys um it's just a really sad situation like there's so many people that get kicked out because they're not paying but this time it's like we have to leave because he's dying and it's is a worse it's so much more sad and it just makes me really really sad that that's what it's come to so so we so basically he said we had to the date technically the end of December so really a month but if he makes it to January we have well we can have till the end of January so like I said I'm praying and hoping we get paid before the end of December and then that could be the deciding factor if we can buy the house or not um, but if we don't then I'm praying and hoping that he makes it till say February and we can um, stay here all January at least and hopefully by then we would get paid and see where we stand if we can buy the house or not and then leave if we can't buy the house just leave in January sometime um cause a lot of places I think would rather like start renting at the first of the year um so I'm just praying and hoping for any good things at this point because of how shitty all this is so it's a lot and I would have just appreciate it I know we would all appreciate it if, you know, all the pray and good things happen for us. Because um, we're tired of it crumbling down all the time. So, yeah. But that is my video for you guys. Um, and I hope that we it ends up being good and everything is fine you know in the upcoming months we'll see but I really 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 hope that things work out for us so um, and for him and his wife so I will see you guys in my next video which will most like no which will be our my Thanksgiving vlog um, I'm glad that I can foresee good things happening like Thanksgiving and Christmas and everything especially because we get Abby and stuff and, we, and it sucks because we might not see her for a while um, depending on if we get if we can't find a place or not which really 
really, really sucks because we love having her and it just, it hurts a lot. It's, 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 it's hurting a lot. So yeah, um, I will see you guys in my next video, um, which will be the Thanksgiving vlog. It says stay tuned for that um, this upcoming week. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.